everyone's boss we are tails and we're back for yet another mining rig build we're building a 12x rx 570 8 gigabyte and well joey's still here if you saw our last rig build Right now, RX cards are the best value in mining. And I know some of you Team Red guys are gonna be out there saying, RX cards were always the best value in mining. Well, you know, that's debatable. But definitely right now, with the market that's going on, they're pretty much the best card, especially with the recent rise in Ethereum, which is why that's gonna be our focal point in mining here today. You're probably like, oh, what about the Ethereum ASIC miners coming? We'll cover that in a little bit. But what we are gonna cover right now is the parts that's what we're using and why. So Best Buy ran a crazy sale selling these for 230 bucks a piece. We're gonna have links to the best stuff that's in stock right now in the description below. But I mean, how could you pass these up at $230? They're eight gigabyte models. This is the cheapest price I've seen in at least half a year for the comparable cards and these are the mk2s which are nice cards so oh and they hash well but anyway i'm getting ahead of myself so with that we're using the h110 btc pro motherboard we've got a g4400 on it we've got crucial ballistics ram just four gigabytes we're going to be running simple miner smos we've got a whole video showing you how to do that this is going to be a little bit of a sped up build because a lot of parts are already on here and we've covered all of these specifics in prior builds if you need to know more in depth of a more basic rig guide. We have a rig building video for beginners, building a beginner mining rig. And then we also have two rig builds for building a 12 card mining rig. On both of those 12 cards, we were using 12X 1080Ti's. The other parts we're gonna be using here today would be 1200 EVGA P2 power supplies. These are great quality power supplies. You're getting a warranty of like 10 years. You just can't go wrong with EVGA. They've always got either the most or matched equal in class for VGA connections, which is what mining is all about. You notice we're using splitters. That's what Joey's messing with right now. These splitters, so one splitter is gonna power the card and the riser. These are using the PCIe risers. So with that, we're taking the SATA connections out of the equation, which is going to give us a rig that is simply safer. People have had the SATA adapters fail, and when they fail, it becomes a fire hazard. They don't just stop working. A lot of times they'll shoot up in a little bit of flame, hopefully not to burn your whole rig down. One of the parts we're using in today's build is this basically a different version of an add to PSU. This is another option to do that. So this is gonna plug into the motherboard. This is where your primary PSU plugs in and this is gonna be your secondary PSU. This little daisy chain allows all your power supplies to work in unison. So you click start on your rig and everything fires up correctly. You don't have any issues. Very simple way to solve your problems for only a couple bucks available on Amazon. Pretty simple as far as the rig build goes. I mean, we're gonna mount the motherboard on there and we're gonna put the CPU on. You're gonna mount the RAM, put it in the slot closest to the actual CPU. We actually go ahead and we electric wrap these risers because of the kind of poor design of this motherboard. You'll notice that the connections are at risk of touching each other and essentially shorting each other out, which would crash your rig and make you go crazy. So we go ahead and we use electric tape on them and wrap them and we're good to go. Other than that, I mean, we run the riser cables, try to make it look semi-clean. Joey hates wire management, so <laughs> he's making a bird's nest back here, but we'll tidy that up in a little bit. Other than that, it's a pretty simple rig build. We've got the power supplies over here. Normally, the 12 card comes with a bracket that you can screw the power supplies into, but that's already been removed, and we're using Velcro to hold the power supplies in, which gives us a little bit more room to work with and a little bit more freedom with wire management. So I'm gonna help Joey finish up this rig build and then we're gonna slap SMOS on it and fire it up and see how high we can get these cards hashing. We've already BIOS modded them. With that, we're using the one click BIOS mod, which we have a full video tutorial on how to do that. It's really easy. I'm telling you, if I can do it, so can you. Even Tails could do it. I'm not doing this for five minutes. This one's definitely heavier. Do you still think it's heavy though? That one's heavier. All right, so we just got the rig set up and tuned. We're going for maximum hash here. We are pushing 365 mega hash a second before the BIOS mod. So that means the BIOS mod is gonna bring us to about 380 mega hash a second. That's pretty wild for a 12 card rig. These cars are performing great. With the BIOS mod, we're pulling over 31 mega hash a second per card. It's a 12 card rig. And Joey's actually even trying to figure out how he can squeeze a 13th card onto this rig where it doesn't look totally haggard. 
the settings we're using on the rig is 1200 core and then 2250 memory and 1000 voltage on the core. We hooked the rig up to 240 volt and it's pulling 10 amps. So, you know, obviously we got a big electric draw here. And this rig is not tuned with the most, you know, power efficient it could be, but it is tuned for maximum hash, as we said. So we're going for some heavy hitters here. We've got some exciting projects we're looking to mine, similar to Ravencoin, but, you know, we'll have some more videos on some upcoming projects we're very excited to be chasing. Remember, we've tuned this rig for maximum hash, and running these power supplies at essentially full load is not recommended or safe, especially if you're using any kind of SATA adapters, which we do not recommend. That is why we have PCIe powering the cards and the risers. Furthermore, we're gonna tune this down a little bit to be a little bit more of a power efficient setting. So we're gonna reduce the memory clock by probably you know one to 200 on the uh, memory clock and drop the core clock about 25, 50 and drop the core voltage down to like 950, 900. And we're gonna move the power stage probably down to six. So again, while the, these components can be ran at this actual performance level, because EVGA has such a high quality standard, it's not necessarily recommended. Regardless of whatever else is going on, Ethereum's recent price rise makes it very attractive to mine right now. So it's an exciting time to be a miner, as always, even with all the crazy news coming out. So make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. I'll be home.